it's, it's a great initiative by Honda to get a group of coaches together, share some experiences, do some coaching and, and, and really sort of enjoy each other's company and, uh, and, and see if we can develop a little bit. I certainly learn more from just chatting to other coaches than I do from reading books or anything like that, you know. This is the ultimate sort of experience, you know, and how you develop yourself. The grassroots is massively important. I ask the players regularly who's the, who's the most influential person in their rugby career and you know, no matter who they are, Sarah Hunter, Kate Daly McLean, they'll always go back to the first coach they had or the school teacher or a parent. So what these women are doing here is massive because you know the, the kids they coach will they'll retain it forever. You see him on the TV and you see him coach the you know the England women's and to come here and to see him in, in person and to experience the way he coaches, his style, it kind of reaffirms a lot for me as a coach because like, I look at him and he, you know, he's around the pitch and I'm like, oh, I walk around the pitch like that or I, I'll question like that. So it reaffirms a lot. It's great that, you know, essentially we're all female and perhaps what is, have been a male heavy dominated sport. And it's great that we're, in my opinion, raising the glass ceilings for that. As a female coach, when you're coming into a game that has always historically been very male dominant, it can be actually quite intimidating. And what this environment has allowed us to do is connect with other female coaches, connect with other like-minded people. It's always great when you can you can add some value that helps somebody else who can then go forward and help somebody else. And you know, these women are supporting you know, our next generation of players, so it's you know it's, it's brilliant to be able to support them. It's huge. You can't not observe it, like and not be excited about what's happening at the moment. You can look at the standard coming up through the pathways. We have a number of under 20 players that are currently being selected at prem level because they are that good in terms of their development, and that's only going to grow. I love seeing the progression of the girls, like especially with the under 18s. Like I played with three of the under 18s that have progressed up to senior rugby, which is like a massive achievement for me. I was late to the game, so I started, didn't start playing rugby until I was 27. I think if I had been exposed to the things that are happening now as a player, I think I definitely would have started the game a lot earlier. The more women and girls that we get involved with in the sport and the more they can see actually you can be a role model and you can hopefully put on an England role shirt at the end of the shift of the day, then yeah, it, it's, it's only going to grow from in, in Excel from there. It's just as critical that we get more women coaching as it is to get, the, get them playing. So, you know, this is a fantastic initiative and, uh, you know, it, there's some real talent on show here and, you know, in 2025 I might expect to see one or two of them. Yeah.